In this PowerPoint, we will extend what we know of solving, for factor, solving by factoring to look at application problems that have to do with quadratic equations. Specifically, we'll be looking at area tasks, such as those dealing with the area of rectangles, squares, or other parallelograms, as well as those dealing with triangles. We'll also be looking at whole number and integer problems. For example, our first task says, my rectangular shed has a floor area of 48 meters squared. We are asked to find the dimensions of the shed if the length is two meters less than the width. If we wanna know how we solve the problem, we're gonna to have to set up two equations with two variables. We know that we have a rectangular shed that has a length and a width. And we know that area is given by length times width. We also know that the length is 2 meters less than the width, so we could rewrite this as width minus 2. Therefore, we could substitute in length in our area formula. We know that the total area is 48 meters squared, and that's equal to our length, which is written as width minus 2 times our width. We will now see that we have a quadratic equation in order to solve. So if we go back to that gardening shed, again we set up our two equations and we got So now we see we have our equation for area. And we can see that it's a quadratic equation if we distribute w through our parentheses. So we'd get w times w, or w squared, and w times a negative 2, which is equal to negative 2w. Our next step is, since it's a quadratic equation, we must set it equal to 0 by subtracting 48. from both sides. Therefore, we get the quadratic w squared minus 2w minus 48 is equal to 0. Now we can go ahead and factor this. Looking for two factors of negative 48 that add to a negative 2, and we will see that that's a negative 8 and 6 because that adds to a negative 2. We now have it factored as w minus 8 and w plus 6 is equal to 0. Now we can use our zero product principle, which states that if two factors being multiplied together equal to zero, then one of our factors must be zero. Therefore, w minus 8 would have to be equal to zero, which gives us w is equal to 8, or w plus 6 is equal to zero, which gives us w is equal to a negative 6. Since our width is dealing with a measure of length, we know that it cannot be negative. Therefore, we know our width is 8 meters. And since our length is our width minus 2, we know that our length is given by 6 meters. We can verify this is our answer because we need the area of 48 square meters to equal to our length times width. And indeed, 8 times 6 our width and our length is indeed equal to 48. In this problem, we are given that the area of the triangle is 60 inches squared. We know that in a triangle, our area is equal to 1 half base times height. And we also know that our base is given by 1 less than twice the height. So if we double our height and subtract 1, we will get to the base. Therefore, we can come up with the equation that our area 60 is equal to 1 half times our base, which is 2h minus 1 times our height. We can simplify this equation by multiplying both sides by 2, and we will get 2 times 60, or 120, is equal to 1 half times 2, which is 1. So we're left with 2h minus 1 times h 
We therefore then can use a distributive property to get to the equation 120 is equal to 2h squared minus h. Since this is a quadratic equation, we will have to set it equal to 0 in order to factor it. Therefore, we will subtract 120 from both sides, giving us the equation 0 is equal to 2h squared minus h minus 120. We could factor this using that method of factor by grouping. Therefore, we're looking for two terms that multiply to a times c, or 2 times a negative 120, which is equal to a negative 240. And we want these two numbers to add to that middle term, which is negative 1. We could verify that this would be a positive 15 and a negative 16. Therefore, if we use our factor by grouping, we could rewrite the negative h as a positive 15h minus 16h, and then we could factor by grouping. Looking at the first two terms, we can factor out an h, giving us 2h plus 15. In the next two terms, we can factor out a negative 8, and if we do that, we're left with 2h plus 15. Therefore, factoring out a 2h plus 15 from both terms, we will get into our factored form. So 0 is equal to 2h plus 15 and h minus 8. Now we use a zero product principle that says if two products are multiplied together to give you 0, 1 must be equal to 0. Therefore we know that if we solve 2h plus 15 equal to 0, we would get a negative value for our height. Therefore we'll use only our next term. So when h minus 8 is equal to 0, we see that our height is equal to 8. To find our base, b, we know that our base is 2 times our height, minus 1, or 16 minus 1, which is equal to 15.